technical accomplishment of my work is, is complicated and hard sought. To, to my mind, it's all very intuitive and the materials I use are just sort of instinctively there to be used. Particularly on mowing days before the petrol was poured into the lawnmower's tank and the fierce monster roared into life, I would save as many daisies as possible, fill egg cups and Dolly's teacups with water and rest them there. Some would become daisy chains. I would pinch their fleshy stems and thread them together to make necklaces, crowns, garlands and ribbons. I can remember how testing it could be with tiny short fingernails to pinch a fine enough hole for threading. Many stems became shorter and shorter as I bruised my way up towards the flower head to start again. It is a joy to have long, grown-up fingernails now, without the grown-up attitude which might prevent me from playing. But in actual fact, the inspiration for this study was the bluebell, or the bluebell wood, just at the bottom of our hill here where we live. There's a magnificent little woodland trust haven of bluebells. And early this spring I was sat amongst them and was delighted to be visited by a speckled wood. So many reflective qualities to capture. There's lovely little terracotta cones perfectly formed. With a miniature paintbrush I very carefully detailed the leaves and the flower heads against this wash. And I've pulled the wash as it's settled into the fabric to suggest these very spiny leaves. My favourite pursuit. It's brilliant to be um, working professionally in an arena that demands I spend time studying in the field close to my subject. I'm so glad that I'm, well, I wouldn't be, would I, if my chosen subject was architecture or, or the nude or any of the other sort of stereotypical artist muses. Mine's nature. Enchanted at the water's edge, my spirit dances with the flight of the dragonfly. Every ripple of this gentle stream reflects its light. Its darting body, an emerald wand, has cast a certain spell on me, a spell which grants me eyes to see pure gold amongst the reeds, forget-me-nots as sapphires at my feet, to feel the sun as a tender kiss and hear peace whispered in the breeze. father or a, a baker or a sales assistant, something that's um, more ephemeral and yet more real than all of that. So it's something essential to ourselves.